Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to the uh, refurb, small scale, stage one refurb we're doing on BMW Z4. So if you saw the last video, we are doing a low stage refurb just on the actual chassis of the car. We're not doing the suspension, we're not doing the subframes underneath the car. We're gonna do that on, well, probably next year. We've done the front of the car already, engine bay is done as best as I can do without taking the engine out and stuff like that. The underside, let's go and have a quick look, it's all done, I've just been finishing it up today actually. I've removed the last of the uh, transmission tunnel covers and stuff like that, we've got access, we just cleaned all that up and that was all absolutely fine. I'll have to put all that back on, all the covers, heat shields and stuff like that back on. Also sort of finished up here as well, it's not quite finished yet, but you can see it's the right colour now at least where I refurbed all this metal. So here, I like I said, all of this to the front, it's all done now pretty much. Needs a tiny bit of finishing up. Brake lines have been um, put two layers of rust and furter on them now, it won't keep them going forever, but it will, it will give them a few more years yet. All the way to the back of the car, you can see, look, they look incredibly nasty still, but at least they've got a coating on them, which will survive them a little bit longer. Anyway, that's the front of the car done. Uh, the front now just needs reassembling, which is gonna be its own little challenge, but we'll figure that out as we go. So we're now onto the rear. Uh, the rear was the more troubling uh, spot in terms of refurb. So the rear I'm considering, considering from here, which is the front of the rear arch, to the back of the car, only three feet, but they usually are the most difficult. They always collect the most amount of mud and the most amount of salt and the most amount of water. So first it was stripped down, it was remove the arch liners, they have lovely arch liners in these BMW cars by the looks of things. Um, it's all just nuts and bolts, just be super careful with it because you can crack them like I did on one of the front ones and then it's a pain in the butt. But once it's off, um, pretty pleased on both sides, this is probably the better side. The actual chassis inside the wheel arches are completely spot on pretty much. Suspension is fine. Probably the main reason for getting in these arches is the lips under here need to be cleaned, dried, uh, treated and painted. I mean on the inside here, because that's where rust always gets you, always ends up costing you a small fortune. Uh, so I've done that. So that was a good start. Again, brake lines have uh, treated all the way to there. I won't paint them because they will rust, even if you paint them, they'll still rust. And I want to be able to monitor their progress before I definitely need to replace them. So I'll just leave them treated there. We start getting to the furry bits. Uh, we've obviously got suspension, training arm, uh, sorry, leading arms here. Uh, they're furry, but I don't want to do anything about them. Um, I'm going to do all suspension and subframes on a separate visit which will be in a year's time. In fact, I should say, to get access to this area, I had to remove some stuff, loads of heat shields and braces and stuff like that, and the exhaust, which is uh, it's a pain in the arse, actually. <clears throat> I really wanted just to remove the rear section of the exhaust. It splits there, you see, but you can't get those top access to those top bolts. So the whole thing, as far as I can see, has to come off. That's from the engine headers back. It's a weird two-piece system, the kind of thing you'd usually get on a V8, but this is a straight six so it's very odd lots of sensors sensor sensor uh, there's another one around the other side and there's two more sensors in the exhaust headers so god knows why but lots of stuff there two catalytic converters there and the mufflers there um, it's the original system 17 years old now it's impressive in that it is all stainless steel as far as i can see uh, stainless steel will still rust in the end everything rusts in the end but it's done good for 17 years. You can see it's starting to come apart at the uh, welds here, which is usually where they do go, and there are a few blows and holes in it. So I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it. I mean, also the whole exhaust anyway is too quiet for me. A car like this needs to be loud, not childishly loud, but it needs to be a lot nicer than this is. So I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna do that. Do I keep this section and then buy a aftermarket rear section or do I keep the rear section and buy an aftermarket this section without the catalytic converters or you know a, a louder version of it I don't know I don't know let me know your feedback these cars are very different to anything I've ever had I come from 19 Jap 90s Japanese cars and this is very different uh, anyway so that's come off and that's that now the differential was supposed to come off as well because I'm supposed to be working on the rear differential which has a leak now that's turned into a friggin' nightmare of its own. I don't think I can get that differential off, uh, so I'm stuck there. So it's 
probably going to change. The differential is probably going to stay on the car, and I'm going to have to figure out how to repair it on the car if I can. Um, but that's that's a different saga. So uh, annoyingly, it means I can't get some access that I wanted to. Let's have a little look under there, shall we? A bit more. A good thing is the chassis, uh, which is I suppose what we're supposed to be talking about. Is that is in better condition than um, than I thought it was going to be? You see the actual chassis, the paint and stuff. It's pretty good. All the fur and orange I could see. I mean, this was all mud. By the way, before you know, it wasn't clean like this. I've spent uh, a couple of days cleaning it. Uh, so this, this was all just caked in mud, caked in mud. You couldn't see anything, and all the orange crap I, I could see was actually these, the rust from these arms and stuff like that, um, which is not treated steel. It's just mild steel, so it's completely normal for these arms and these brackets and stuff to rust. So generally speaking, <coughs> excuse me, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm going to give it a clean up, obviously, and do something with it, but. Uh, well, no, it's not too bad. Uh, the other side, I won't bother showing the other side, it's pretty much identical, but we'll go and have a look under, under the rear. <sighs> so I stripped it all off, fuel tank's still in there, but all this gubbins has come out from the back. Uh, you've got your um, fuel canister, carbon canister, just a whole bunch of crap, I can't even remember what was in here now, but uh, some stuff. So it's all come off, all the brackets come off. In terms of how good it is, it's it's not too bad. It's better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. You can see a lot of it needs, needs stripping down, the paint needs coming off, and you know, you can see you've got rust around bits like this. And uh, hang on, you can see just furry bits here, paint's got to come off, and uh, I've got to re-treat that, strip it, treat it, paint it. Again, I can only get access to what I can get access to. I'm going to try and get in there. Little bits there, I just want to treat. Nothing hugely serious. The next stage of the refurb in a year's time will be all of this uh, subframe coming off and the differential and all of this gubbins, uh, which I'd like to get on with as well. See the differential there. I've been trying to get it out today, but it just does not seem to be designed to want to come out. I think you've got to take the whole subframe off the car. Uh, which is a real mission, and I really don't want to do that this year. So, you know, I've got a child on the way, and I don't think I want to deal with that at the moment. So, I think Diff has to stay on the car until further notice. Right in the front of the fuel tank was super dirty and muddy, and uh, there's some corrosion that needs dealing with there. I don't know, you may be able to see it, you may not. Uh, so, the paint needs to come off there, down to the steel, treat it. Well, that's it. So I'm next going to take some paint off and I'll report back. And then a couple of coats of Roscoverda, wherever we've been taking the paint off. Okay, I've finished putting the prime or the rust converter on. Most of the places are okay, just surface rust. Apart from this place here, it seems to be the worst of it. This is where the right side rear leading arm meets with the chassis. Now, if you look at that bit there, I kind of try and point out in there where it's super rusty, that's actually body shell, it's actually chassis. That looks it's like it's going past being surface rust now and it's going to structural rust. So this turret area, this kind of wheel well, we're dealing with this turret here. I think that turret area, oh God, I can't get it now, in there needs to, I think it needs to be ground out and have new steel welded in there, which is a pretty easy job. It doesn't need to look nice, it just needs to be strong. Um, now I can't do that until all of the arms and all the suspension comes off, obviously, which I think is going to be next year. So for the time being, we'll just cover it up, 
stop it getting much worse and we'll deal with that next year we'll uh, deal with that turret uh, next is I've just got to slap a load of uh, a couple of layers of hammerite all over these areas uh, just to keep the corrosion at bay now the rust converters on it'll be black it doesn't really matter what it looks like because it's all underneath and hidden areas anyway uh, and I think we're at that point ready for reassembly all right we're getting it uh, heat shields are back on at the back nice making some progress finally uh, all the areas the nasty areas so they've been stripped they've been rust treatment and just the areas I've overdone it a bit but it's okay uh, and a couple of coats of hammerite see there uh, down there there's awkward turrets so you can't see them take my word for it this area is over there alright doesn't look nice but you know what it's all going to get covered in mud again anyway so it doesn't really matter uh, it's nice to finally make some progress uh, next the splash guards have got to go back in the arches uh, so I've just been cleaning them up um, I'm going to replace some of the bolts that have gone a bit rusty and, and do some odds and sods but otherwise Let's try and start getting these splash guards back in. Welcome back viewers, the rear splash guards are now on, and look. Mm, like a brand new freaking car. Mm, so not only now is it de-rusted, cleaned up, but it's also protected for the next decade or so, which is nice. Let's look at the other side. Mm. So next thing I've got to do, I've just got to repeat on the front. I've got to fit the rear front guards, which I'll probably end up doing next week, so I probably won't bother putting it in the video. The next stages then are, I've got to oh, find a way of removing that diff. But, uh, there will be a way. And so I'll start on that next week. That diff's got to come off and we've got to do the front oil seal on it. And also the exhaust needs sorting out whether I'm going to replace bits or however I'm going to do it, I don't know. So again, we'll, that'll be in a few weeks time. So as a reminder what we've done, we've whipped everything off the bottom, all the covers, all the heat shields, everything. We've whipped all of the splash guards and stuff like that. Everything's been cleaned out where we have found surface rust. We've stripped it down, treated it and painted it. And that includes all under the body as well. Chugga, 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 chugga. Uh, the brake lines have been treated all the way along as best I can, it's going to give it a few more years, it won't last forever, but it will do, but the under, underside of the car is a lot now. So that will do it for the stage one refurb, and we will crack on with the diff next week.